say welcome to another uh, closing bell for week ending uh, 14 of June 2013. Uh, looking at my notes that I have, is my sound coming in okay? I hope you all can hear me. Uh, hi, Darren. Nice to see you. Uh, looking from where we left off my notes last week, as I said before, the KLSE is likely to break the 1750 and, and um, to align with the regional market, and it did come. If you've been reading my June report, uh, which is the June 2013, we, I was already talking about correction as early as the May uh, 29, which is now is almost two weeks. Like it or not, correction did come, and today we have a, a huge a buying. If you see the market retested, because yesterday Dow Jones closed about 100 and. Uh, 80 points here, you can see it here. So which were quite spot on, not the reason why uh, we were good in forecasting, but because of the tools that we use, the volume spread analysis. Um, let's go and take a look at the chart that we have here. Let me just blow this up for you. So you could see, you know, we, we have this one eye Joe trade, which is excellent. And typically what we do feel is when the market breaks higher, it has to have a resumption of trend. You know, resumption of trend, what we mean by this, it's simply the trend should move higher. Now that we have a breakdown in here, we have a two bar reversal here. Let me just write this down. Okay, we're seeing this. So that tells you uh, temporarily we have sign of weakness. Now we have this sell off in here uh, that confirms the generally the medium short term uh, uptrend has broken and we are looking for a correction which i think it is good as a matter of fact i did have a couple of clients who wanted to open up account and i told them now this is wonderful for the first time i'm able to uh, get in and buy uh, maybe a good value stock having said that as you can see we are still you know in this point uh the danger zone right uh in the sense right we have this gap that hasn't been crossed yet. It did test, remember, it did test to uh, seven. What, what's the low here again? 1742. But surprisingly, the market was strong enough to hold it above the 1750 level. And as the task right now, as of we speaking, uh, market is doing 16 points up. Now, what does that mean? It simply means next week it's just going to move sideways. <laughs> okay? That's what it means. Uh, okay? That's what it means. What's happening now? All right, good. Uh, Michael, I, I don't understand you. Okay, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Okay. If not, you try to catch up over that. So this is what I mean. I know I'm changing a lot of the screen. Just try to bear with me a bit. Okay. So let me just make sure the screen is updated and you can see. All right, now. So what you, we are seeing, experiencing in here is definitely... The market is still uh, trying to crack down the 1750 level in here. Uh, please ignore this high volume bar that you see here. That's to me, it doesn't say much. Okay, let me just put that up a bit. And, all right. So that's how, how we see things is. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at the FBM 70. Okay, I hate this when this thing happened. I just have to reopen it again. Okay, we have uh, new some new people joining us. Okay, we have a good turn up today. Okay, all right. What I want to do now is just to show you this FBM seventy. Okay, FBM seventy. Okay, this is the FBM seventy. I hope you can see it now. Just wait for the chart to come out now that's what we are doing the uh, closing bell now just wait for the chart to close by itself right and okay there we go now this is the fbm 70 if you can see this we are seeing a mushrooming effect right uh meaning a mushrooming effect uh the markets will tend to you know try to go down in here but we do see a good what we call support here at this level, 14,400 level in here. That's a 14,400 level here that you see. So this level has to sustain and hold. Uh, that's why the market might just move sideways from now. I'm not that concerned now. We do see correction and corrections are generally good at this market because uh, if there's no correction, how can we go in and buy? So you just need to run your filter and get into the right stock. Okay, let me just erase the... Uh, 
uh, build, uh, all the changes so you can see it better, okay? Now, what I want to do now is just to move on to, to the chart here. And you could see, okay, I'll just look for the screen to just show. Okay. Um, we have here now is the FBM KLCI. Now, there's a lagging time between what you can see and what I'm actually showing now, you are listening now. Okay. Can you tell me what you are seeing now? Okay. There is definitely a lagging time here with the dashboard. I want to make sure you guys are seeing the same thing that I'm seeing here. Right. Else I just have to proceed on. Okay. All right. Okay, good. I think I got an idea what you guys are looking at. All right. Okay, seeing this. Okay, user code. Great. Right. So what I want to say now here, from here onwards, you can see last week we were 17... Uh, 76 now it's about 1756 so we were down uh, about 20 points uh, because of the breakdown in here so now let's go on to the next thing is the foreign funds okay now the foreign funds here i want just to make sure we are all at the same page very important view uh, audience view that's right we have the same page as i do which is the uh, foreign funds load now you notice what i have here is 